people get frustrated many times like i have been getting such comments and messages that that is a big problem how you will come up uh, with those words in your conversation if you don't know like where to use so can you please tell me about your daily routine step by step so that learner can get advantage of it hi be... welcome back after a long time once again how are you doing yes yeah i just uh, i was fantastic and thank you so much for asking kavit so what about you how are you and how have you been well not bad i have been doing amazing as well as like busy with youtube so yeah going well i, I can't complain i could not do oh, better i guess so i'm happy that's very nice of you because you mm. you are just you know living your fullest uh yes i guess because i feel life is all about ups and downs you know sometimes uh if you are happy sometimes if you're sad so you don't need to worry about it this is the real life if you are happy in in a constant way so i think this is not a real life you are not enjoying it you should taste uh, you know sad moments as well yeah exactly of course if there will be fluctuations and ups and downs you will be able to just feel that you know that you are happy now if it is going in the same constant way you will start feeling uh, monotonous about the things that's very common. absolutely yeah 200% mm. agreed hmm. mm. okay so in today's session what we are going to talk about that is we will be discussing a few few problems that learners face right for example mm -hmm. how to memorize new words how to learn pronunciation as mm -hmm. you are also a fantastic speaker so we will be talking about these mm -hmm. things so that learners can take advantage of it they can they can utilize these sort of you know activities and all they can also improve their pronunciation and they can learn new words so can you please tell us about the journey or the the process you follow to improve your pronunciation as well as your vocabulary yeah thank you so much for just uh, for just asking this question this is a very nice question as uh, pronunciation is the one of the like most important part in speaking what i found in my journey but the thing is that you know uh, i was also confused with the pronunciation and accent i used to think that uh, first i should go for the accent or pronunciation but after later i found that pronunciation is a very basic thing where you will have to go with your clear pronunciation after that you can follow anything according to the accent so i would like to make clear first that accent accent is very last thing but the first thing is that the pronunciation so when it comes to me uh, two and a half years ago uh, the first uh, like you know the day as i told you that i started talking to the people after that i started finding out some good people on youtube to whom i can mm. listen so i started listening to sadguru i just you know i mm. just you know i started my journey by listening to sadguru and the pronunciation was of sadguru was really amazing i think i used to if mm -hmm. i'll give you an examples like some words i used to say like thank you but after listening to him i learned how to say thank you thank you so much thanks I thanks see. like that that okay. voice and after that uh, he like i used to listen from jess 80 like come for a table that in india the people they are taking four syllables come for table but <laughs> after that i after listening to jay or jay city i think you might know <clears throat> he is running a podcast that is of course. On, like yeah, on yeah, purpose so after that i listening to him and it was really fantastic i learned how to say come for table come for table in three yeah, like syllables so there are several words but what i found you can't improve pronunciation in a single day this is the thing like you will have to focus on one or two words and try to just you know speak them out and uh, another day try to find out some another words if anybody is there who can interrupt you that this is not the right pronunciation you are going to find that uh, you are not able to pronounce those words because sometimes people they are thinking that they are pronouncing those were, uh, words very well but what i found like yes. if you will get a person who will tell you that pronunciation of this word is not correct or you can work on it so of course you will be able to improve your pronunciation so this is the first practice by listening to the good people mm -hmm. like sadguru mm -hmm. jay sethi ranveer alavatiya i used to like you know uh, listen them attentively that what is the difference between their like you know pronunciation and my pronunciation apart from this like uh, what i was doing there was a there is a google is available google page i used to write the word like comfortable and pronunciation so i was getting that you know computer voice and i was listening to this mm. voice and after that i was practicing well, like you know i was just repeating that five times and 10 times like that and after that i was doing practice with that sometimes i used to follow that uh, you know imitation technique as well like 
okay. i uh, mm-hmm. like there was a speech of like recently there like you know kamla harris like in a few mm-hmm. few months ago she became the vice president of the united states yes. so there was a mm-hmm. speech of her so i used to listen that speech I think and it's i used more to speak here more I think than a year more than sorry a year. yes yeah ah <laughs> uh, yes it's okay. so yeah. exactly when there was a speech i used to listen that and after that i used <clears> to imitate the way she was speaking so i have done this practice so this kind of three things i used to do to just you know uh, come up with a good pronunciation and till now i'm doing it ah oh, that's great and what about learning new words vocabulary you know people get frustrated many times like i have been getting such comments and messages that i'm not able to use those words in my conversation you know this is my biggest problem i want to use it i learn five words a day but after that when it comes to use that word i get stuck and that time you know i i i get frustrated and i i feel really demotivated yes this is the one of the biggest point whatever you said as i have been training people for more than 2 years so always they are just you know having this question <laughs> but what uh, my take on that is like you know i was never worried about the words and vocabulary i i don't know why like you know and but i used to follow that traditional method what i used to do i used to write 5 to 10 words and i used to like mug up them i used to revise them but that was really obsolete and old fashioned i must say that wasn't working for me the same the learners they are complaining but i was never tensed about it because what i have chosen in my journey i want to become confident rather than going to speak like a fancy or fantastic words if i am able to understand mm-hmm. another speakers like uh, sadguru gorgopal das jay sethi ranveer pink chopra of course words are important to understand them but i don't want like you know to speak those words in my conversation because i want to be a very simple speaker so the people they can get me properly they can understand if i am speaking 100% of course they can understand me 90% so the thing is that Absolutely. it depends on a personality what they would like to choose but i must say rather than going for the that traditional method try to learn from the real conversations like we are talking to each other and the learners they can listen this conversation and after that if they are getting any word which is new to them try to just write it down and after that watch that video again try to watch that you know part of the video again then you will find out the context of that in what way you are using it that is very important when you are learning the words from the dictionary you are not able to find out like where to use that is a big problem how you will come up uh, with those words in your conversation if you don't know like where to use but in real conversation we are able to understand where to use because they will be able to understand that's that situation true. very well so that's what i will suggest to the learners to rather than going for that traditional method listen to the conversations go for the reading text and uh, watch videos where you can get the new words and after that you know uh, just you know include those words in their conversation mm. so what should one follow like uh, watching videos or reading books what is most important in order to improve your vocabulary what uh, i must say that i think for me like conversations were really like you know uh, interesting always because one-on-one i have conversation been into, you were talking about yes one on one conversations i have not been into like more into like one on one conversations but i was into international speeches as i given you the example of kamla harris i have listened mm-hmm. a lot of speeches like mm-hmm. that there is a one channel mm-hmm. english speeches with subtitles there you will get a lot of yeah. speeches of the great people all over the world so i used to listen them and i was getting a fantastic way of i always see myself as a great communicator rather than sounding like a written english i don't want actually i want to see myself as a speaker where the people they can understand me and they can feel the energy in my voice so but you know kavir sir the thing is that it depends on a person to person sometimes the person they would like to use fragile verbs idioms and vocabulary some person they would like to choose like me i would like to choose very simple english but the great pronunciation and clear english that's what the thing is mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. if you you have given me two like you know choices so first i will go with the conversations and the videos speeches after that i'll go for the mm-hmm. reading as well why not mm-hmm. but first i will prefer yeah. watching videos that's true hmm. watching can help you you know uh, to get both the things your pronunciation as well as vocabulary so once you watch something you get a word you go to google or you search on dictionary what does it mean at the same time you're learning 
pronunciation as well that can help you improve your pronunciation and i think uh, yes, listening is the, books, one of the best yeah, things that can help you improve your pronunciation <laughs> that's true absolutely okay <clears throat> you know one more problem that learners face i have made such videos like if you don't have partners so what you can do you can practice with yourself so they have one problem they have one question that question is that i don't have any topic in my mind you know when i try to speak i get stuck i i, I become totally blank so what can i speak and how can i speak what suggestion would you like to give them the first thing what i found like you know in this problem most of the people they don't have the knowledge about the basic topics as well of course if i will say to them to speak about india in hindi maybe they will not be able to speak a lot of point so how they can expect themselves to speak in english directly because they are newbie in english even though they are perfect in native speaker in hindi then if they are struggling to speak those things in hindi how they can expect a lot of things in english when they are really mm. a newborn baby for english like that but they are <laughs> expecting a lot like you know when they have been learning a language for only like three months they will say sir i am not able to speak two minutes five minutes oh my god there are several speakers who has been practicing for like years and years even though now it is also they are struggling to give a wonderful speech in five minutes you know so mm. that is all about selecting words and uh, coming with the good thoughts so what i will suggest them first try to find out at least 10 to 20 topics just go on the google and find out 10 to 20 general topics and after that make some key notes on them four points five points and after that just you know take that paper piece of paper and after that try to elaborate those points if i'll talk about like pollution so there are three kind of pollutions mainly like you know air pollution noise pollution and water pollution so you can write three things oh, and after that you're forgetting about soil pollution <laughs> <laughs> now it is very popular <laughs> yes you know I, 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 I beg your pardon <laughs> i was just kidding <laughs> okay but i have studied only three like when of course in books only they were showing like three mainly uh, there are a lot of hmm. like now of course several things are there i'm just you know giving an example so there are three like in that way so you can write three and after they try to just think about it at least you can speak a single minute about the water pollution why can't so in that way you can start speaking about the topics but without like you know uh, making like you know keynotes without making bullet points and without reading about like those topics it is very difficult for you to speak five or ten minutes <clears throat> absolutely well how to talk about daily routine can you can you give me an example to explain about your daily routine so that learner can you know, if you don't have something so end of the day what you can do before going to bed you can talk about your daily routine like if you want to practice four or five or six minutes every day by yourself what you can do you can explain about your daily routine like what did you do throughout the day before going to bed so can you please tell me about your daily routine step by step so that learner can get advantage of it oh my daily routine okay thank you first of course it is a very basic question what i can say that because first yes, uh, of course whatever whenever i am training people first question <laughs> i am asking to them to just introduce and uh, i am asking them tell me something about yourself after that i would like to go for the second question that is the routine which is very important to practice and uh, so if i'll talk about my just you know routine i can tell you about my routine of today in that way like i woke up first i think i will start with the like i would like to tell the learners that they can start when they are waking up that is the first point of the like you know that uh, routine so i woke up at 7:30 and after waking up i was just you know scheduling my day it is my routine to just schedule my day or write something in the diary and after that i have written some things what i'll have to do in whole day after doing that i was just thinking about the shower and i have taken shower after that after taking shower i have done worship for 20 to 30 minutes and after just you know finishing the worship i have been out for the breakfast i have taken breakfast i think today i have taken poha in that specifically <laughs> thank you <laughs> and after that i will talk uh, i just came back from there so it was the time to just you know have the session after that also i wrote something in my diary because i am maintaining like two to three diaries i think i do suggest to the people to just do write in the papers because it is very difficult to keep all the things in your mind sometimes you know so i have written something in diary again and after that i started taking session 
from 9:30 to 11 almost 11:30 i have taken session mm. after that i have uh, done conversation with my mom after just you know doing conversation i came to know that i'll have to make a video with you and then after what i have done i was there for the lunch after just finishing the lunch i came back and i started preparing for the like you know a uh, good environment while making video that's it and now i'm here with you so the tips and tricks like you know whenever the people they would like to tell about the routine i must say if they are telling about the today they will have to use like past most of the thing because the learners they are doing this uh, mistake that they are not able to understand they will have to tell in past present or future so if the you are telling about your today of course you will have to use like in you know, most of the time past but if you are telling the general routine you can go with the like you know present like i wake up uh, at yeah. 7 o'clock because you are telling like you know this kind of things so that's what exactly. the thing about the routine mm-hmm. mm, that's true <clears throat> that's great uh, okay let's talk about festivals for a while cuz uh, you have had a great time i think uh, two to three festivals celebrated you know uh, just uh, maybe a week or two back right if i'm not wrong like yes, dp yes a week ago mm-hmm. uh, diwali chhat and all so how was that i mean how was how was the festival uh, yes it it was really amazing like i can say that i was totally in festive mood basically before going back to my hometown i was just you know totally in a working mood but when i was back to my hometown i was in a festive mood and the thing is that you know uh, kabir sir i would like to tell you that the deepavali is the one of the biggest and the main festival of uttar pradesh it differs to the state mm-hmm. to state but deepavali is the one of the uh, main festival of up what i found and i asked to my mother is uh, as well in that way because uh, rama just you know born in ayodhya which is mm. the part of up mm. so it is the one of the greatest festival of our state so it was very nice i have celebrated that festival like first there was i was back to like my home at dhanteras dhanteras where we are just you know doing the worship of dhanvantri or kubeer like that and after that there was like you know narak shodas like the small deepavali we call it choti diwali and after that we okay. are having a culture to just light in a deep like you know diya near to the was just you know mail uh, main like you know uh, the what i can say that mohri they call it in hindi like it is a cultural okay, thing okay. in that way so mm. after that there is a main diwali main diwali is there mm. like you know t- uh, it was on 24th so after that uh, we have celebrated that uh, just a day very nicely i have done worship and it was very nice because uh, usually i do worship on that day because i'll have to do all the things at night and after that i i have done that and on next day there was uh, like you know there was no festival because uh, like this time there was a, like something like sur grahan huh? so after the next day there okay. was a gobardan mm-hmm. puja yeah so we got uh, like you know this uh, distraction or something like that due to this sur grain and after that there was uh, that uh, gobardan puja so gobardan puja and uh, the same day when we are just you know just starting that gobardan puja we are going out in, out uh, with neighbors to just you know take blessings from them in the evening this is our work we will go to a, like you know everyone's home and we will take blessings we will talk something we will take sweet enjoy like that and after that we are having bhai duj like where this is similar like rakshabandhan but there is a no thread like you know we are not going to mm-hmm. use rakhi mm-hmm. on that day we are going to put a tilak and a stuff while my sisters are going to just you know feed me some sweets and i'm going to give them gift mm-hmm. that's the thing bhai duj okay. and after that also one or two days gobardan puja will be con- like you know will continue so the festival was very grand and always deepavali is the like you know greatest festival for me and i have enjoyed a lot this time as well this is all mm. about the festival that's amazing and what about shopping like um, a lot of discounts was going on you know uh, everywhere in shopping platforms in general market in supermarket have you got something or not uh to be honest i'm more in, i'm not more into shopping actually uh, now it is what i want i want to purchase things which are really important rather than going for the unnecessary shopping i was not into like that uh, my mom is always saying to me like diwali just take some t-shirts and shirts like that but i'm not more into it so but what i have bought mm. like that that was like you know electric jhaler electric lights some bulbs for the home like you know mm, things I for the home i can see here i can see it's like 
<laughs> yeah exactly i got a bulb and in that way i got some curtains for my home as well i just you know i purchased curtains a lot of stuff for the home rather than purchasing for myself so yeah okay. but it was very nice to see a lot of things in the market and basically i do avoid <laughs> going outside but due to diwali i was outside in the market for 2 to 3 days continuously to see that like you know craze people like you know people they were purchasing a lot of stuff you know mm, yes absolutely even i i also noticed that you know every day i i go every day especially like for half an hour in order to just you know get mm-hmm. fresh and all all the while throughout the day i stay inside this flat and also i also feel like frustrated and also i think let me go out for a while at least for half an hour and also at the time of festival i was i was going and i was noticing all these things you know all around like bustling areas and people were busy in shopping a lot of discounts were there okay so mm-hmm. yeah it was like a good one you know i i also really enjoyed it to be honest with my friends <laughs> um well thank you so much for coming live once again you know it was a really great time as usual we have heard the last session so this time i also enjoyed the session your experience that uh, you described it was amazing and i hope you know people can get help uh, from your experience and from this video as well and i don't want to say many more things to you you don't need any feedback yeah. okay you are already i need a lot of thing man i want to be better yeah. like you know it doesn't make sense that you don't want to tell mm. me something i would love to learn a lot of things from you as well everyone can you know every two hours any word is added to english dictionary so we cannot stop learning it ever if you want to brush it up we can do for ever right so that's the fact well mm, if you have anything to you can tell me then yeah exactly as you said that now we are just you know uh, do, would you like to discuss something else or just we are running out of time already uh, it has been no i think like um, it has been 22 23 minutes so let's um, end the session here for today we will meet for the next session and we will enjoy it again exactly so i must say to the viewers and watchers thank you so much and very really thanks to you keep watching and keep exploring rural talk thank you so much <laughs> You're welcome. See you soon. Take care.